Today I thought I'd make a video about meal ideas, some grocery shopping ideas, and just tips about being vegan in college. I've been vegan for about two years now. I really like eating this way. It makes me feel really good. I don't digest dairy that well, and being vegan makes this dietary issue pretty easy to avoid. I also think it has a lot of environmental benefits. Even if you're not fully vegan, I think it can be pretty beneficial to just be aware of how much meat and dairy you're intaking and maybe making it a goal to cut down on it a little bit just for the sake of you. There are a lot of health benefits and I think if everyone were to do that or at least, you know, a large group of Americans, it could have a pretty big impact. So yeah, I'm gonna start off by just showing you some of my grocery staples and then you can follow me around throughout the week and I'll show you some things that I eat. First things first, our appliances. I recommend a magic bullet. I didn't realize how much I needed this until I had this. I blend everything. Oat flour out of oatmeal, smoothies, batter. That's all I can think of at the moment, but it is the best thing ever. And I think it ranges from about 20 to 25 bucks. I also recommend a good set of reusable bowls. I have this size, this size, and a mini one somewhere, but they're the best. I use them almost every day, and then I just wash them in the communal sink. I also have these big bowls, which are really good for popcorn making and if I want to throw a salad in here, and silverware. I wash these in the sink as well. This little tool has saved me this year. All I do is take whatever dishes I happen to use in a day and this little guy to the bathroom. We've had some good times together. As far as food goes, I would sell my soul for Quaker Oats. I eat these like it's nobody's business and the amount of these containers that I've gone through this year is frightening, but it's my go-to. A protein powder is really good to have on hand because you can mix it into a bunch of things like yogurt, oatmeal, you can put it in your smoothies, maybe throw some in your coffee if you wanted. I'm actually, I'm almost out, but it's great. Organ vanilla, I recommend. I also recommend just keeping some basic seasonings in your dorm, maybe two or three. Sea salt is a great one. And everything bagel seasoning, it tastes good on everything. Rice cakes, salads. I can't think of any more. Cinnamon's really good. There are a few health benefits in cinnamon and it's also great on oatmeal and other types of snacks. Definitely keep some nut butter or some peanut butter in your dorm. Good source of protein. It's really filling and you can put it on everything. And I recommend just keeping maybe some olive oil and some maple syrup in your dorm. If you have them on hand, you'll never have to worry about having a lame meal because you can always bring it back to your room, spice it up, you know, make it your own. I usually have some staples in here too. Bread's a good thing to have. I always keep some type of plant-based milk in my fridge. And whenever I grocery shop, I always buy the fruit that's on sale. This time it was blueberries. So that means my oatmeal will probably have blueberries in it all week. And I'm okay with that. I usually keep a bag of frozen spinach for my smoothies. I accidentally let this one thaw and then refroze it. So now it's a giant rock. And then I also like to keep frozen fruit. I also keep an emergency meal. It's usually like a quinoa or a rice veggie mix. They're pretty cheap and small. So you can buy two or three of these and just throw them in your fridge.
I wish it looked more appetizing, but it's delicious. My friend is having a brunch for her birthday, so I'm picking up another friend of mine so we can grab some coffee beforehand. And she's also gonna bring me a slice of bread. I guess I would say a tip of mine is to snack a lot throughout college, no matter what, because I think to keep energy levels up, you kind of always got to be running on some fuel. I think I always snack throughout the day. I'm like a grazer, a horse in a field. Brought her a little surprise. <laughs> what would you call it? Lindsay's famous avocado toast. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Put my shades on. Yep. It was so cool. Like, I've never seen one except in a zoo. That's amazing. Okay. Wow, what are you getting? It's called a cafe lait. It's like half coffee, half oat milk. Yay! Thank you. Let's do a little taste test. You can spun that. Get the guy with the hair! Oh! Where? Can we meet your bird? Hi! Oh, oh that's a <laughs> to walk to one of my only in-person classes throughout the week so I think I'm gonna take dinner on the go but I just picked up a salad and I know a lot of people think salads are bad but honestly they end up being some of the best things you can get from dining halls and places that offer meals through meal plans because a lot of times the vegetables are some of the only things that are fresh <laughs> that they serve so what I usually do is I get a lot of greens, and then I make sure I have some sort of protein, so I chose tofu today. Sometimes I put beans on it, and then I just make salad dressing in here since I can usually make it taste better. So I'll show you one of my favorite dressings. so good. It tastes like sweet sesame soy dressing, but a little bit simpler. Sometimes I put hot sauce in here. It's also really good with some chili flakes if you have them. All right, I'm gonna go to class now. I've been craving pretty savory breakfasts recently. I'm trying to wake up earlier and do different types of exercises. So lately it's been walks and that's paired with a really 
early morning alarm. I woke up at six this morning. It was tough. I know that's the average for some people, but it feels like an accomplishment to me. I think that's maybe another point. When I eat well, I feel better after I work out. I, I feel like it's all kind of in sync. Whenever I come back, I always like to eat a good breakfast afterwards. And this is one of my favorites. All it is, is some oatmeal. I would measure, but I kind of just eyeball it, if I'm being honest. And this seems redundant, but I'm gonna put oat milk in it, which is just more oatmeal and water, just to use up this carton. And then I add in about a tablespoon of olive oil, some everything bagel seasoning. I had to tape the top because I broke the cap. Some chili flakes and a little bit of baking powder. Then you just blend this. And it makes a little pancake batter. If you use oats, you can make it gluten-free and you also don't have to keep a giant bag of flour in your dorm, but obviously flour works too. I usually just have this with avocado and some lime juice, but I found this vegan sour cream. I'm just gonna take a little bit, add it in there. All right, now you just add your avocado and some sriracha, and that's it. I think it's just an easy way to spice up things that you already have. If you're already gonna have oatmeal, you might as well make pancakes with it. I think you can argue that there's a downside to having to do your own dishes versus using disposable plates and silverware. But honestly, I've kind of come to really like scrubbing. It's pretty therapeutic. So I usually try to do them as soon as possible, but you know, sometimes they get a little crusty. I'm gonna be efficient this morning and wash them now. I usually just set these on my counter, kind of spread them out and let them air dry while I go to class. So it, it's pretty easy. Nuts are a really big part of my life. I love them. And I know a lot of people can't eat them due to allergies, which is a shame. So I have a few other snack recipes that I love. So I'm in a club, it's called Vegan Voices, and I've never gone to a meeting or sent any messages in the group chat, but I love it so much. And I feel like I know every member, even though I've never said anything or contributed at all. I know that I should, but I'm nervous for some reason. So I just read all the messages and 
take everyone's advice and it's so beneficial. I feel like clubs are being made for everything now. So if you're looking for one, definitely see if your school has a vegan club because I, I bet they do. But anyway, they send out a ton of information in there all the time. And one of these great pieces of information is the fact that Target is having a sale right now for buy two, get one free on a lot of vegan stuff that they sell in their produce section. And I need to get groceries, so I'm gonna go in and maybe find some other stuff. But um, I'm excited. For my buy two, I got some vegan cheese. I didn't know they had cheddar. I've never, I've never heard of vegan cheddar cheese. And apparently it's a good source of calcium and it's made out of oat milk and beans. Food science. I also got some chorizo, vegan chorizo. It'd be good on some salads, I think. And all it's made from is water, wheat, soybeans, a little apple cider vinegar, and some spices. And then, for the kicker, I got these. This was my free. They're Thai basil vegetable dumplings. And then I got milk and a can of beans. And um, I got a little ice cream for later. We have to get a chunk. Pretty sweet. Mm. Oh, but it's good. I think if I were to end this with one note, it would be to do your own thing. <laughs> I think the right way to live out your college experience or just food or diet or exercise or lifestyle in general is to just do what makes you feel good. And if that means maybe doing a version of veganism, like switching to oat milk for a week, then do it. That's kind of how I've been surviving everything. Life, you gotta do what works for you. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you next time.